Eight campers, how are y'all doing? So, I need to get water. I need to wash my hair. <laughs> um, it's getting a bit scarecrowified. I actually washed, washed it the other day though, and I used just about a kettle and a half of water. So I'm not sure how many litres that was. It might have been five litres. Yeah, just for my hair. <laughs> That's good. That's good for me though. Because I have before boiled a pan of water, well I did the other day, but I didn't use it, a kettle and then another pan and possibly another kettle. I know, it, it sounds excessive doesn't it? <laughs> Thing is, I've got a bit of, well, I don't, you know, reluctant to label it, but it's a bit OCD or it has been, where you kind of, like when I wash plates and things, needing to rinse them, because I've done that for decades. and. Obviously, with water being at a premium, you can't just keep running it willy-nilly, you know. So I've had to learn to use a lot less water. I still do rinse, but it's just a little bit. So I wash my hair. It's all very interesting, isn't it? It's fascinating. <laughs> I know, I'd say I'd use probably about a gallon of water. But I just used about, yeah. Well, I, I, I boiled a kettle and I, I was filling up my jug half hot half cold and i used four or five of them i think so that was to wet it a couple to wet it lather it up rinse it off maybe five maybe five i was really pleased though because that's a lot less water than i normally use that's really good i'm so pleased about it can you tell i'm pleased you have to say it one more time we might realize anyway so i'm going to find some water i can go well jane and graham woolly cords I stopped there overnight a couple of weeks ago now um they said i can go back and f you know fill up and what have you which is really kind of them and if i was around that area i might take them up on that offer but that's like half an hour away from where i am and obviously diesel you know costing more than gold at the minute can't just drive around willy-nilly uh but there are some toilets on the road Ow. And um, I could use the disabled toilet because I have got a radar key. It's one of these, in case you're wondering. It's quite like a hat, isn't it? It's quite nice. Take this. Do you all remember these? I used to wash my hair one of these when I lived at home. That's when I could sneak washing my hair when my dad were out. Because you know what you're like, a teenager. You need to wash your hair more than once a fortnight. Um, so I had to sneak and wash my hair but that's you know going off on a tangent which is something I never do really so I have filled up with water in those toilets before I had some like two litre bottles and I use these on the taps obviously and filled up uh, ideally there'd be a tap where I could stick my hose and uh, fill up that way so I don't know if there's an app that tells you where you can get water someone should make it their mission in life to create one <laughs> If I knew about creating apps, I'd probably do it myself. But then it'd take, you know, going around places, finding that out, and I just couldn't be asked the little thing, really. So, there's an idea if somebody wants to take it up. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Might do a bit of shopping. And then get on with uh, some editing. So I'm going to uh, do that now. Yeah, that's it, really. Oh, and get rid of my rubbish. I mean, that's another thing. The only problem on this stretch of road is there's no bins. There are a group of people, who are volunteers, friends of the gear, who come round and pick up litter, bless them. But they wouldn't be picking up bags of, my bags of litter. It's just, you know, crisp packets and tinnies and whatever else people just drop. To be fair, probably not motor owners, that are camper vanners, just visitors, you know, in cars. Roof raff. Yeah, so I need to find a bin. That's it. All these people keep walking past in my garden. Get off my land. Seriously. Right, I'll speak to you later. Bye for now. Well, the toilets are locked. Side toilet, front toilets. Um, I don't know why. There is a, a toilet, another toilet lock further on. I'll check that out, I guess. Yes, anyway, we'll see what happens. I hear a kind of sort of ticking sound. It's that sound, you know, when something's cooling down. 
that's red hot. I don't know if you can. So it's obvious. There's been a sort of a bit of a sort of squealing, whistling sound, which stops when I tap the brakes. So I'm just thinking, is my my brakes stuck on? I can't see in there. I'm not very happy about that though. That so that's bloody red hot is that? So I'm a bit worried about that now. I just wonder if it's well, if it's dangerous. I don't I don't know. <laughs> that's a short answer. I don't know if it's dangerous or not. That's always my main concern, that something's dangerous. Or that it's going to break something that's going to be really, really expensive. I mean, I've got a jack. Although, um, last time the van was jacked up on that side. The jack went through the uh, jacking point because it was rusty. I think Alex found somewhere different to jack it up. I don't know. See, there was a point in, mid in life when I, I would have attempted to get the wheel off and have a look at that. I just thought... I just don't have the strength anymore to do shit. I mean, you know, there's probably somebody who'd help me. Flutter my eyelashes, my eyebrows as well, if it helps. Yeah, so I'm a bit concerned about that now. So I'm reluctant to go into sort of some random garage that I, who I don't know. Well, because you, you just never know if they're going to take the piss. Anyway, I'm going into Aldi now. Both those sets of toilets were shut, locked up. Is that to do with COVID still? Fuck's sakes. I'm not sure why else it would be shut. A bit annoying for bloody visitors though. It's alright if you've got a nice big fancy... I'm having a big fancy camper van or motorhome, but anybody else? Shiwi. Get yourself a Shiwi. Mind you, it's not exactly discreet, is it? If you sat in a car. You're supposed to better use them lying down, but I wouldn't like to risk it personally. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of shopping now. Get some water bottle of water. Seems I can't get any from anywhere else. Just looking at these tracks. Got to be horses, hooves, but it's like that one's there and that one's there. They're a long way away. It's about a metre and a half. I don't understand. What else could there be? I've not seen any horses on here. It's strange. I'm going to follow them up here and see where they got her. <laughs> Mystery footprints. You see, some of these are quite close, and you think, yeah, I can see that a horse has done that. But then they get right far apart. Why would that be? How is that possible? I mean, look at, wait, it's there. That, I don't understand. What are they? What's made these tracks? Answers on a postcard. Oh, they're disappearing into the sea. Well, you're probably watching and saying, oh, that's a uh, whatever. I'm just too dumb to realise. That's uh, a very definite shape, that, isn't it? They might have been here earlier, just because I haven't seen them doesn't mean they weren't here. Was it? Never seen any horses on here though. Hello birdies. The colour of that water, it looks lovely. I'm always reluctant to go back when it's like this. Not when it's like this, I'm always reluctant to go back when I'm on here, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> That's a weird shape. It's a sea monster. It's definitely a sea monster. Oh. If anybody can enlighten me, please do. <laughs> I 
because I'm a bit baffled. That was, that's like a bird, like a bird's claw, isn't it, or something? I'm sure it's not that, but I'm not sure what it would be. Oh look, that goes down to the sea. I told you it was a sea, it's just definitely a sea monster. I'd managed to get back into a house. I won't be experiencing this, probably. I mean, of course, you'd come to the seaside, can't you? When you live in a house. But, um, it's not the same. It's not all sunsets, is it though? And blue sea. <laughs> you know, my gas hob is playing up. My wheel's red hot. So there's something not right there. I don't know if the brakes are binding on or something. But it's all shit you have to deal with in between. But that's life, isn't it? You know, ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. Uh, rough of the smooth. Any other cliches you can think of. Um, but uh, it's nice if you've got some bits like this in between the shit. So, can't complain really. <laughs>